Get out your pitchforks and torches. Time for today's nominees for the worst persons in the world. The bronze, Larry Falter. That's right, Falter, the owner of LTD Jewelers in Superior, Wisconsin. He has flooded the market with TV commercials for kind of going on a business sale. LTD Jewelers is not going out of business. The world is. Mr. Falter is a member of a messianic congregation. And after a trip to Jerusalem, he's become convinced that the day of judgment is soon. So everything is 50% off. The special return of Jesus discount. Best reaction from one customer. If Jesus really is coming back, why would I want diamonds? Runner-up John Cook, member of the Texas State Republican Executive Committee. He is one of the state's Tea Party leaders seeking to oust the Republican Speaker of the Texas House, Joe Strauss, because Joe Strauss is Jewish. Quote, we elected a house with Christian conservative values, wrote Mr. Cook. We now want a true Christian conservative running it. Later explained to a reporter that when he got into politics, he told people, quote, I got into politics to put Christian conservatives into office. They're the people that do the best jobs overall. And finally, Mr. Cook explained that he's not an anti-Semite because some of his best friends are Jewish. Literally, quote, they're some of my best friends. My favorite person that's ever been on this earth is a Jew. How can they possibly think that if Jesus Christ is a Jew and he's my favorite person that's ever been on this earth? Seriously, has everybody who was ever hit by lightning in the state of Texas gone into government there? But our winner, Congresswoman Candace Miller, the Republican representing the Michigan 10th, that's Port Huron. I'm gonna let Congresswoman Miller speak for herself. This clip of her on the House floor, after all, is proudly posted right under the masthead at her website. But please, if you have any beverage or food in your mouth, get rid of it now. Mr. Speaker, since WikiLeaks has begun releasing American top secret information that it obtained illegally, there has been a debate about how our nation should respond to this. I believe that the actions of WikiLeaks provide material support to our terrorist enemies, so it should be treated as a terrorist organization. Others have argued that WikiLeaks is simply a media organization, and therefore it is protected under the First Amendment. Well, consider for a moment the most recent statements by Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, which I believe show exactly what he is, a terrorist. Okay, it's not Assange, it's Assange, and it's not terrorist, as in, his rock garden was beautifully terrorist. It's terrorist. And it's not Winky Links, it's Winky Dink. Congresswoman Candace Winky Links Miller, today's worst, where the hell do we find these people? Person in the world. Winky Dink, and you, Winky Dink, and me, oh, we have a lot of fun together. 